Hey, my name is Thomas and welcome to Stylized Station. Now, I strongly believe that financial independence is extremely important for every artist to think about. So occasionally I like to make videos on this topic and that's what we're doing today. And with the release of Unreal Engine 5, the possibilities to make money and create a stable career for yourself are only growing. Us as real-time artists are at the forefront of a new emerging tech that is just starting to gain traction. And if you're like me and truly believe that real-time tech is the future, then the best time to start thinking about this and the best time to jump in is right now. So in this video, we're going to talk about 10 creative ways to make money with Unreal Engine that don't involve game development, because I've done a million of those videos already, while also exploring some of the cutting edge real-time technology we are going to see in the very near future. Hopefully some of these ideas help get those creative juices moving around in your heads so you can come up with your own creative solution to make the world a better place using Unreal Engine. Also, if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine, you can check out my courses. Link in the description. Okay, let's get into the video. There is no doubt that The Mandalorian was a fantastic TV series, but what most people don't know is that the vast majority of their environments weren't green screened. They actually used Unreal Engine to dynamically create and update their backgrounds on set. This is the art of virtual production, a new emerging form of production which allows directors to mix live footage and computer graphics at once, get real-time feedback, and make decisions on set about the VFX and animation of a scene. For example, a director can change the lighting, colors, materials, and positions of anything in the scene in an instant. Now, on a regular set, making changes like this could cost thousands of dollars, waste days of production, or just be straight up impossible to do. The amazing thing about virtual production is that virtual content now can be created by decentralized teams around the globe without any delays. The possibilities widen without increasing the cost. This is great news for us real-time artists. The flexibility and interactivity of virtual worlds within the game engine, combined with the ability to visualize content earlier on in the production process, uncover new possibilities for studios to realize and refine their vision. Like the world of game design, virtual production studios need environment artists, character artists, VFX specialists, sound designers, and almost anything else you can think of. And they need all of these artists to understand real-time technology. Films out today, like The Lion King, Ripple Effect, and Mandalorian, were made using game development technology just like Unreal Engine, and provide a ton of really cool opportunities for 3D artists in a ton of different fields to break into the world of cinema. With its low overhead, speed and ease of use, I can definitely see virtual production getting a lot of traction in other genres like indie filmmaking, commercial shoots, and model photography. These are all niches where real-time artists can find cracks to sneak into. Do you guys remember Pokemon Go? I mean, everyone was using this app at some point. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, basically you would walk around your town tracking down Pokemon on a real map, use your phone camera to find Pokemon hiding in the wild, and then capture them for your collection. This was a worldwide phenomenon, and it was only possible because of real-time augmented reality technology. And I think we are only at the very beginning of this tech. As 3D artists and real-time artists, there's a ton of opportunities for us to take advantage of this growing trend. Augmented reality, or AR, is a technology that presents us with virtual objects and information within our real field of vision. If I'm looking at a street, for example, and point my smartphone towards that street, it may give me more information, such as names of cafes, gyms, and dentists, etc. These applications will need 3D artists to create models, graphics, and the effects for the programs. I think the marketing potential is absolutely tremendous. What Pokemon Go has demonstrated is that, given the right motivation, people will get out and use alternate reality to interact with the world around them. They just need a good reason. Obviously, not every brand can create something even close to Pokemon Go, but they can definitely start thinking of new ways to market to this audience who are now spending a huge amount of time seeing the world through just a screen. This means you can show your ads and products in more innovative ways and even make them more specific and targeted based on the individual user. And it's not just products as well. I think alternate reality is definitely going to be making the world a better place. For example, classroom education can be extraordinarily more interactive as AR can enable teachers to show virtual examples of concepts and add gaming elements to provide textbook material support. This will enable students to learn faster and memorize more information. Imagine an application made by a 3D artist where you can scan alphabet letters that are on simple cards and using alternate reality, little pictures of the animals pop up. 
each has its own animations and sound effects. This kind of technology can revolutionize the classroom. So I want you to think about it. With your skill set, what business or product could you build around AR technology? Making music videos used to be a really time consuming and physical process with lights, dancers, and practical effects. But lots of artists are starting to lean towards making digital music videos. And I think in the very near future, most of this is going to be done using real-time technology. There are countless amounts of new artists coming up every day, and not everyone can afford a massive production team. On top of that, filming a high-budget music video can also take months to complete. This is where I think Unreal Engine comes in. With a faster workflow, easier iteration, and a much more budget-friendly process for musicians, a small team of 3D artists or designers would be able to create a really great music video for a fraction of the effort and time that is needed to create a standard music video. Now, just like virtual production, I think the real advantage lies in the iteration process. Say you're on a team working on a video shoot for a music video, and you realize one of the dancers was wearing the wrong color shoes, and you needed to redo the entire shot again, costing thousands of dollars, setting the production back days, or even weeks in the process. With a real-time music video in Unreal Engine, changing the color, size, and style of almost anything in the scene can be done with a few button presses, and the entire scene is automatically updated in real time. So if you're like me, and live music is more your cup of tea, I'd recommend looking into creating real-time audiovisual experiences for live music and concerts. Unreal Engine has the ability to have your on-screen VFX react to music in real time, allowing you to create some insane and really unique visuals. I've actually been to a few concerts already that are using this technology, and behind these experiences is a very, very smart 3D artist who is already more than likely making a nice chunk of cash for these productions. Seriously, look into it. While we're talking about music, if sound design is something you're more interested in or want to learn more about, then you need to check out Unreal Engine's Metasounds. Metasounds is a procedural, node-based solution to sound design. This means you can dynamically create sounds, music, and sound effects in a non-destructive manner, and it's all baked into Unreal Engine 5 for completely free. Every game needs sound, like music, or sound effects for combat, explosions, gunfire, and magic, and even ambiance. The list goes on and on. Not every solo game dev or AAA studio is going to want to do the sound design themselves, so there's a big opportunity for freelance sound designers to take advantage of this software. Sound design software can be pretty expensive, so the fact that Unreal Engine 5 is completely free forever is a huge advantage for people who are looking to just get started in the field. Now, if you're interested in world design like I am, you may want to consider the emerging market of VR design. While the virtual reality gaming industry is growing more and more every day, a VR designer can create immersive virtual worlds for a number of different experiences, not just gaming. And all of this can be done in Unreal Engine 5. More and more companies, brands, and businesses feel the need to use VR to showcase products, designs, experiences, and many other things. For example, I was at my local museum last year and there was this great virtual reality exhibit where you could go inside the paintings and other works of art to learn more about the works and the artists themselves. And to create these worlds, these museums have to partner with an artist or even a studio to help them create this 3D world. Tech brands will often do pop-up stands at conventions and exhibitions and use VR booths to showcase upcoming technology or even just provide a fun experience for the people at the convention. It's just a memorable experience for the people. In fact, I even recall speaking to someone in the stylization community who creates VR environments for weddings, parties, and even meditation apps and makes a decent living doing it, man. That's crazy. Most people by now have heard of the growing VTuber trend. VTubers are virtual characters that are motion capped to a real live person who is performing in front of an audience in real time. Right now, anime style VTubers are very popular, but as models and real time are getting more and more advanced, we may see a shift in the market towards more detailed and advanced characters. In fact, I know we will. The world of VTubers is a really popular field, and more people are looking to create VTubers than ever before. As a cutting edge real time software, I think Unreal Engine is a perfect solution to help artists create cutting edge avatars for content creators all over the world. Because creating a quality VTuber model is a really difficult undertaking. It necessitates varied levels of 3D modeling, rendering, and rigging. Basically, you only have two options to create your own custom VTuber avatar. To design one yourself using software like Blender and Unreal Engine, or to hire another artist to create it for you. 
Being a real-time engine, Unreal has all of the tools to help create these characters, and with hair and claw simulation getting better and better, there's a real opportunity to showcase your skills in this field. VTubers aren't just limited to YouTube and content creation either. Some popular VTubers hold massive concerts where they perform in front of live audiences, so these performers not only need to hire artists for the character design, but set design as well, and all of this can be done with real-time tech like Unreal Engine. Like most other things on this list, this is still a very, very new field, and I think the artists who can apply this technology in an intelligent and creative way are going to be the ones that thrive the most in this genre. This also brings other opportunities as well. Think about it. In the near future, instead of parents hiring creepy clowns to come to a birthday party, maybe someone can come up with some sort of interactive experience where kids get to hang out with their favorite cartoon characters. Or what if companies had a virtual greeter in their stores at the front who can interact and answer questions to customers in real time? Unreal Engine 5 actually includes a set of tools for simulating 2D and 3D fluid effects in real time. These systems use physically based simulation methods to produce realistic effects for things such as fire, smoke, clouds, rivers, splashes, and breaking waves on a beach, for example. I don't know. Real-time simulations are just beginning to be used in several different fields, and I believe we're just starting to scratch the surface of what we can do with them. In engineering fields, for example, people can use simulations to map water flow through pipes, and mathematicians and scientists can use real-time simulations to process large data sets and calculations in many different exciting fields, like biomechanics and rocket science. All of these fields are going to need simulation experts to help create these complex simulations. And if numbers and math aren't really your style, simulations are starting to be used in product design and commercials as well, and need artists to create smoke, water, and even fire sims to add that wow factor to the shot. And who knows how else real-time simulations are going to be used in the future. Simulating water flow at water parks, studying tsunamis, and creating realistic smoke and fire simulations for firefighter training are all really cool possibilities I can think up off the top of my head that might make the world a better place. Now, of all the other tech coming out of 3D space right now, one of the more interesting areas to me is photogrammetry, the art of turning pictures of objects into 3D objects using specialized software. There are already a ton of uses for photogrammetry, which in turn provides many opportunities for 3D and real-time artists to capitalize on this growing market. Museums regularly scan their artifacts and upload them to websites so these amazing pieces of history can be enjoyed online by anyone. Someone needs to go through those meshes and optimize them to make sure they can actually be uploaded and run real-time on the sites. Archaeologists are able to take 3D scans of their discoveries and use these scans to study and analyze objects without having to risk any damage being done to the original artifacts. Game developers who use Unreal Engine also have free access to a massive library of photogrammetry and LiDAR assets called Quixel Megascans, which contains thousands of highly detailed 3D meshes that can be used in pretty much any game. Even hobbyist drone operators are starting to get hired by construction developers and national parks to scan buildings, mountains, and trails and turn them into tangible 3D objects that these businesses can then use for interactive media on their websites or even development presentations to investors. Anyone with a simple smartphone and a photogrammetry application can create these scans and Unreal Engine is perfect for importing them and utilizing them in real time. By now, most 3D artists have heard and seen what MetaHuman can do. The demand for realistic avatars and characters is only going to grow in the coming years as more and more people buy into the growing world of real time. The MetaHuman creator provides a way to create your own digital human representations in an intuitive and easy to learn environment. You see where I'm going with this, right? You can create their clothes, hair, and facial expressions, and all with a really high level of detail. In addition, it's now possible to create fully rigged digital characters in a really short amount of time, making the whole process so much easier. This means you can create virtual actors of basically AAA quality in just a few hours. And since we are again so early in the inception of this technology, I think there's a massive opportunity for artists to make a profit with this tech. Making characters is an extremely laborious process. You have to create concepts, blockouts, sculpts, retopologize, weight, paint, clothing design, rigging, animation, the list goes on and on. And as we shift into the world of virtual production, people are gonna need more 3D characters for movies, commercials, short films, YouTube videos, and video games. 
While MetaHuman makes the process hundreds of times easier already, there are plenty of companies who are going to be looking for contractors to outsource this kind of work in the near future. And what better person to hire than someone who is already versed in the software? I mean, people are already starting to do this. You can find a few early adopters on cheap freelance sites like Fiverr or Upwork. Some of these people have made already hundreds of dollars for creating a single character, and I think there's room for improvement with their branding and packaging of the services. So there is a lot of money being left on the table that an intelligently targeted brand could snatch up. And I don't know, I guess you could make games too.